I apologize. We were having some technical difficulties on this end. Uh, welcome, everyone, to our uh, webinar with Trading Total. Um, as you, uh, if you've ever actually watched a, a webinar with us before, you know that we do a legal disclaimer to start off with. Go ahead and read that to you now. This demonstration is designed to instruct you on using Metastock and accompanying software plugins and is not a recommendation to buy or sell, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using the specific indicators and features within the software. The information, software, and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Metastock shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of their software, any trading strategies, or information provided in connection with the company. Uh, now, we are actually uh, doing this webinar today with a very special guest, uh, Eduardo Gills from Trading Total. I've uh, been working with Eduardo for quite a while now. Uh, he's, he's very, very good when it comes to uh, walking individual step-by-step step through the trading process and he actually has a presentation for us today at any time if you have questions uh, please feel free to type them in either myself or Eduardo will uh, answer those for you and at this point I'm going to actually just turn the time straight over to Eduardo okay well, good afternoon, everyone. Again, my name is Eduardo Gills. I'm Trading Total CEO. I am very glad to be here to talk a bit about Metastock and our Trading Total Visual Signal Systems. Today, we will talk about our two systems, MTSS and TSS. And during this webinar, I will explain how uh, those systems work, how they are composed, and I will tell you how I use those systems and my recommendation for, for you to take maximum advantage during your trading activities using both systems. Uh, let me start saying that our first system was a MTSS called Market Timing Signal System. Uh, actually, the genesis of this system consisted in a system to be applied to market instruments in order to get a market trend and market momentum indications to be used for individual cases. What I mean is it was originally thought to buy or sell positions taking advantage of the classic market timing trading concept. Uh, what means looking for an agreement between the market direction and the individual, individual case trading direction. In short, long trades when market is uptrending and short trades when the market is downtrending. Uh, that genesis of MTSS was very interesting because as we work refining the algorithm, we developed an extraordinary algorithm that performed amazingly well when it was applied to crude oil, a very high volatility instrument that you probably know. And this is was also very exciting because at Trade Invest, Trade Invest is the owner of this of Trading Total, we were finishing a robotic system for real-time crude oil trading. So we could finish both a robotic trading system and a discretionary trading system, the MTSS, practically at the same time. Uh, so in short, MTSS is an amazing system for instruments at futures, and stocks, and ETFs as well. The second system, the TSS, is a system also based in momentum, but more based uh, in trending than in explosion, a momentum explosion. Like the exactly like the MTSS does. Uh, this is to be able to trigger a conservative, conservative and very defined entry point, very in agreement with what the stock behavior is, but also very recommendable for future trading. So after this brief presentation, let me introduce both our MTS and TSS virtual alert trading systems. Let's start with the MTSS. MTSS is composed, the system formed by two elements, uh, buy and sell visual alerts shown into the price chart area and color ribbon patterns at the lower part of the chart. 
this is what we're talking about. The signals, cell signals, signals, by signals here with the, with the prices, and at the same time the system uh, paints the corresponding bar with red for cell and green for <coughs> possible long entries for for bullish alerts. At the lower part of the of the um, chart, uh, well, here you can see uh, cell signals as a part of a very strong down trending mode in this example, as uh, as well as buy and sell signals with the sideways trading range, this area, okay? Uh, note that at the lower part of the chart, we have the red and green ribbons informing you about the trend, the price trend. Red ribbon indicates a downtrending situation and green ribbon indicates and corresponds with an uptrending behavior. Uh, this example, uh, well, practically all the alerts are in agreement with a trend. What I mean is sell signals with red ribbon patterns and buy signals as a part of uptrending behavior. Okay? But this is not the only possibility. You can find signals, buy signals with green pattern, with a, a green ribbon, or with red ribbon. Okay? Uh, well, Obviously, uh, a buy signal um, in agreement with a green lower part or, or green ribbon is a, a more conservative uh, possibility, a more conservative entry. Uh, the other one, when you, you are not in agreement with both elements, well, is a little more aggressive. Uh, you have to define your risk profile, obviously. Uh, you will trade with agreement or disagreement, depending on if you, are, you feel comfortable with that, that aggressiveness, okay? Uh, let me move to this next slide. Uh, in this example, well, this is precisely what we were talking about. Buy signals during a downtrending move, right here, for example, or in neutral areas, not in agreement with the green pattern. And, and this is a very interesting concept, basically. Um, in this case, what we have is, is another, another, another situation. You can see here this red line. This red line is a 200 period moving average. Okay? And this is another element we use a lot in our, in our analysis, as a part of our analysis. Because uh, these 200 moving average represent the long-term behavior, okay? So, if you are trying to short a sell signal into a strongly uptrending 200 moving average, obviously this is much more aggressive than trying to buy here according to this signal in agreement with a strongly uptrending 200 moving average. And this is the reason because this down move is poor, okay? We are trying to sell against the 200 moving average in a clear uptrending behavior. In this case, this buy signal is in agreement with the 200 moving average, and it works perfectly, and a lot of, of uh, following signals. Let me move to the next slide. I think I jump over one slide. This one. This is another one. More, more or less the same concept. Okay? Sell signals into strongly uptrending 200 moving average. They are, you can take it and you can earn money using this signal. But obviously, this is a short term. Probably in some point, you will find demand. Okay? This is more or less clear. Uh, let me move forward. 
Let's continue with our presentation telling you that our MTSS provides reliable signals in every, in every time frame. Our system is, you can apply the system uh, for daily time frames. The, the, um, the past examples were in daily time frames or intraday signals. Actually, we have two systems, one for intraday, another for uh, daily time frame, okay? This is another interesting example. It's a very interesting example because we have again a cell signal in disagreement with the ribbon. But this is in disagreement at the same time, practically. It's at the end of this uptrending ribbon and starting a sideways situation, but you don't know when, when you are here, okay? So the question is the following. Uh, which is the, the most aggressive entry? This one or this one? What do you think? 200 moving average is flat, or almost flat. Here is a little slightly going down, slightly, okay? In this case, it's completely flat. Here's where we introduce another element, very important element that will help us to decide the level of aggressiveness that we can support, I mean. If we are going to take the signal, if we are conservative or not. And this is our indicator, okay? This indicator is our proprietary indicator, uh, S momentum indicator. This indicator is, a, is very well balanced, uh, it's clean, and at the same time, it's very reactive to show uh, small changes, but very clean. Uh, this is a uh, basically is similar to the the rest of the momentum indicators. Okay, we have a oversold area, an overbought area, and prices are leaving this area and going into the overbought. Okay, the problem with this sell signal is the indicator that we're as momentum indicator is telling us that we are overbought, a very overbought. So this is very aggressive. This is the other thing you have to take in account to decide if you are going to take this aggressive signal. It works. You can see that one, two, three, four, five, lower low and lower highs. So you, you can get some money here using this signal. But it's not a huge move. We are trying to take advantage of uh, potentially very strong moves up or down. Okay, the second one, the second one is is much better, really much better. Why? Because the indicator is leaving the overbought area and is breaking this indicator support. We use the indicator in order to identify, sorry, to identify. Support and resistance, as we do with prices, okay? After we break this indicator support, look, the price went down, clearly down. So this is the best sell entry to take. If you want, it's aggressive at the same time because we are trying to anticipate the move. The, 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 the direction is shifting right now into the 200 moving average. Basically, in general, it's, it's this situation, okay? Uh, but we will use this indicator as a very, very important var variable in order to decide if we are going to take the signal or not. The system is very solid. If you take every signal, probably most of the time you will be successful. But if you refine using this technique, using this, S momentum indicator, 
your odds will be increased a lot, a lot, okay? And at the same time, simultaneously using the 200 and moving average uh, as a help, okay? At the same time as I told you before. This is our five-minute system, okay? Five-minute system, intraday. It's a little different, the visual, okay? But it's exactly the same. And here you can see uh, more action, but let me tell you the signal. This is perfect. We have sell signal, sex signal, sell signal. What do you think about this momentum indicator? This is not very stable. It's bouncing a lot every time. I don't like to get a short if I am bouncing, bouncing, uh, doing higher, higher highs at the same time. But after this indicator went into the oversold direction, it remains here. And this is very buried. I take this signal or this signal. It's very, very interesting. It's interesting how the uh, S momentum indicator indicator is reinforcing the signals. Okay. Uh, at the same time, this buy signal is a little premature. I mean, is uh, the indicator is is uptrending. It's okay. It's not so bad if, if you take this buy, but it's not good enough. It's not into the overbought area. We are trying to use all the gas the pattern has in order to take maximum advantage, anticipating a, a, a very strong uh, movement, okay? This is the idea, using the signal and refining with the S momentum indicator, okay? At the same time, take a look at this 200 moving average. This is downtrending sharply. So this buy is not a good idea. It worked, but it's risky, okay? Note that we are only using what you see in the chart. I mean, the signals, the ribbons, the S momentum indicator, and the 200 moving average. Only that is very, very safety. Let me move to the next one. We have to, a lot of things to, to talk today. We don't have time to cover every entry, every exact entry point. But I have to give you to provide some idea, some orientation in order to tell you, OK, what we can do after a signal shows up, OK? As in every trade, we have to define the exact entry point, the original stop loss, and the, some kind of orientation uh, regarding the technical management, how to move the stops in order to, to keep and to protect your uh, profits, okay? Let me, let me tell you what the general rule is. The general rule is we take along above the signals bars high, and we take a short below the signals bars low for short trades. This is the situation. Entry over this high. This is the signal bar, and you take over the bar. Let me tell you another thing. This is this uh, system is a, a closed bar system, so you will not see the buy signal during this period. You will see after this bar is closed. So you will see the next day if you are trading a daily time frame or the next period if you are trading intraday during the next part. This is the signal, the entry over this. But, always a but, obviously there are common sense things. You can get an entry if you have a hell of resistance right here. We will see several examples in order to explain a little more this concept. But this is common sense. In this case, you have this 200 moving average going up. So maybe you have some resistor to the left. We can see that. But you have to take in account all the traditional concepts in technical analysis. If you have a resistance, very strong resistance, you are going into that resistance, well, let's break that resistance and take or the next signal or 
your regular pattern. You trade using setups, buy setup, breakout, or something like that. But you you know that from the momentum point of view, you have the support of the buy signal. Okay. Uh, this is how we get into the trade uh, after the sell signal shows up below the uh, minimum of this uh, signals bar. Okay. We have some support here, so maybe this is a little, it's not so clear, but it works. Uh, we can see this is it's not so horrible. I mean, it's, it looks fluid. We can go against this, these bars, okay? It's not so horrible. Uh, we have another sell signal here, below this or below this bar, because this is the support. I think you got the concept, okay? Uh, another one here. And another work here. What's why I don't like I don't like this buy signal because this 200 moving average. I like, but you have to understand that you are taking if you buy here, you are taking an aggressive position. Okay, this is an aggressive entry because you are going against this uh, decreasing 200 moving average. Another example, this is another example here, right here. You have got this signal. You will enter here. No, I will take the position below this bottom intent. Because it's a little more conservative. We are in the middle of a base. This is a very struggle area. I prefer to break the, the support because it's not far away. I mean, it's more or less the same. Know that it bounced after this, and we have another sell signal. That's okay, I like it, but this is reinforcing my concept. Let's break the base, okay? Uh, another here uh, that signals we have to understand that we have momentum, but at the same time, we are far away of the 200 moving average. We are a little extended, so uh, we don't know if we are going to have follow through or maybe we bounce, or maybe we have a sideways situation. This is another common sense concept. This one, buy, how do you, how do you see this? Well, it's not so bad. This 200 moving average is going down, and now it became flat. So I'm not fighting too much against this 200 moving average. We can take this after this gap. This is a gap, a daily gap. When this uh, bar starts, well, you can take a lot. Similar here, but know that we have a lot of uh, support right here. This area, this is um, what we call a minor support. So this is not very conservative. We have the support of the 200 moving average going down now. It, it can work, but it was through a gap, really. So. This cell shows up because this gap happened. Okay? You understand. We have to break this area first. Let me go forward, forward. Okay. In short, you can apply this uh, MTSS system to any market index, stock, ETF, SPY, QQQ, or any other or future instrument to trade those market tracker or, index, or indexes or to trade an individual a relative strength or relative weakness in agreement with the MTSS market signals. Finally, another recommendation, you can apply the MTSS directly into any high liquidity individual stock. Let me say what is a decent liquidity for the system, one million stocks per day, shares per day, okay? One million shares. One million shares, well, you are trading intraday, that means that you will be, if the trading is regular, obviously, uh, you will have probably in one minute, uh, something like 6,000, 7,000 shares per bar. And that, that is good enough for the system if you are trading intraday. 
if you are trading daily, well, you don't need really to have one million shares as uh, required. You can you can trade from 200,000, 300,000, very, very nice patterns regularly in general for swing traders, okay? Let me explain now uh, the TSS trading signal system. The TSS trading signal system is a little different when we compare it with the um, MTSS. This TSS visual signal system has similar layout, buy and sell alerts and ribbon colors at the lower part of the chart. The difference between both systems uh, is the entry rule. The TSS has more conservative entry rules that will show up only when the instrument, stock or even futures, are definitely trending, up or down trending. But they have to be trending, okay? So for this reason, it's more conservative. You will not get uh, home runs, I mean reversals, very, very violent reversals. You will take entries uh, only when you have a established trend, okay, situation. The other interesting element to be used as an indicator, as I told you before, is the SM momentum indicator. Okay? Let me let me show you. We have two a couple of versions for TSS. The entry signal only system and another system showing exit signals at the same time. Let me talk about the entry signal only system first. And I run very fast because I will I like I would like to take uh, some time discussing this and the next two charts. Because we are going to explain you these those are the most important charts in this presentation. We are going to integrate uh, the full S momentum indicator analysis with the signals, okay? As you can see, we uh, did introduce another S momentum indication. This is the slowest, a slower version of the first one. This is actually is a moving average of the yellow one. Uh, because basically uh, we are going to apply a more or less uh, known concept very used in, for example, MACD or something like that. When we use the cross between a slow moving average uh, with a, a faster moving average up or below, above or below a slower one, okay? In this case, uh, we have uh, two indicators. The yellow one is the, well, the same that we were talking about before, uh, is the S momentum proprietary indicator and another slower version, okay? The concept is the um, taking advantage of overbought and oversold areas. Basically, is what we are going to apply with this analysis. We have a yellow S momentum indicator uh, crossing up and down, um, above and below, the green one, the slow one, indicator. This is the key in order to identify and to uh, discard uh, some of the signals and to only to use the top quality signals, okay? Um, we also, so the concept is when you have this yellow crossing down the green, you have a bearish pattern from the S momentum point of view, okay? When you are crossing up, like here, you have a bullish pattern, okay? But it's not the only concept. We also need to have this cross above the neutral line for a long, the zero reading. This is the neutral. It's not bullish, neither bullish nor bearish, okay? For a long, I need to have both 
momentum indicators, the yellow one and the green one above the neutral. And for short trades, I need both indicators below the neutral level. Okay? There is another conservative requisite in, uh, or condition uh, that I like to apply. I like to have both downtrending for a short trade and both uptrending for a long trade. Okay? Maybe it's a little tight. We are demanding a lot of things. But believe me, when I, I am going to show you the signals in the next chart. And you will be really surprised with the precision of this concept. Let me move. For example, I didn't name this one. Do you have an idea why? Because we are crossing down, so it's bearish, apparently, it's bearish, but we are well above the 200 moving average. And this is another guy. This guy is fantastic, and we use a lot in trading talk. This is an extra long-term moving average, the 450 period moving average. And we use a lot because between the 200 and the 450 moving average, we define a really, really relevant support and resistance area. Only crossing this area defined between both long-term moving average, 200 and 450, you can take advantage of a very potent and really important down move in this case, or up move for a long. Okay, and this this cross is 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 happening when you are really really bullish. We have all the relevant moving average. This is 450, 200, 100, 40 uh, moving average, 40 period, and 20. So we can think on a short right here. It's anything but conservative, okay? It's very risky, not aggressive, risky. Uh, the next one is a bull, it's a bullish cross, yellow crossing up the, uh, the green one, okay? For its momentum indicator. And below the 50, the neutral level. So I can take this long. But both, the number one and number two, are below the, the neutral level, okay, and uh, are, uh, well, the yellow is crossing down in both cases. Actually, this is a retest. It's not a cross. It's better than a cross because we can cross up, and this is a bearish signal, okay? I prefer the number two just because here, number one, the 100, the, the green uh, the S momentum indicator is slightly up. Here is slightly, it's starting to be flat, and it's flat and it's starting to be degrees uh, down, okay? So I prefer the number two. Let me now show, show you what happened when I connect the system, the signal. Just one second. This is a mess. What's going on here? Just one second. This is moving forward instead of. Just one second. Sorry. Okay. Take a look at the signals. This is wonderful. It's very nice. I don't have to analyze every pattern or every bar, only when a signal shows up. Sell signal, sell signal. We already did the analysis. This one. Look, this move. Perfect. What about this sell signal? This is extraordinary. Look, the S momentum indicator. Do you like it? I don't like it. Not too much. It's not horrible. It's right into the neutral level. It's not so bad. But note that we have the long-term indicator, the green one, doing higher low. 
O sea, es, es building momentum, up momentum, not down momentum. I don't like this. I don't take this. This worse is much stronger than up momentum construction here. Okay? So I don't take this one. It works. You can get some money here. You can earn money. But it's not the big move. Which is the best one? The best one are any of this cell. Here or here. And this is a much more important downward. This is very reliable. And this is not a selected example. It's, well, you can see. Using the system is fantastic. I Summarizing, uh, specifically for a short trade, we want to see the yellow S momentum below the green S momentum. The yellow and green both downtrending. Yellow and green both below the neutral level. This is the most important chart in this presentation. Because only with what you are watching, you can see everything you need on the chart. We are combining the TSS signals and S momentum indicator, indicator technique. Opposite condition for long uh, trading, obviously. But what happened what if we connect the MTSS system? MTSS is not so conservative. Probably it will provide more signals. And what? We have a buy signal here. Can you take a buy signal here, right? Right here? No. It's crazy. The yellow and the green below the neutral. Uh, the green is downtrending. And we have, we are crossing actually. The, the yellow is crossing down below the, the green. So I don't take this buy. Okay? But the, I can take this one and this one. And another thing I like a lot when I can get two consecutive sell signals. You are reinforcing the prior one. Okay? We have buy here. Crazy. We can take this. Not only for for the S momentum indicator. We are well below the 450 moving average and the 200. Note this cross. 200 moving cross down the 450. This is this is consolidating the down more. Okay? It's very clear. More examples? We have more examples here. What do you think about this? And this. This is nice. This is very nice signal. Really. We have we don't have the new neutral here line, but but you can see this is the zero. Okay? So green and yellow are um, above the neutral, yellow above the green, a little extended, yes, a little extended, maybe we have a retest and we did it, we, we had the retest here, it was bullish, so we went up again, it crossed up, this is an entry, got it, and you have to put your stop in the, in the closest uh, support. Uh, this is very close, I prefer to put maybe here or something like that. We have another entry here. That's okay. The only thing is this is downtrending, but this is a short pullback. The big behavior is up. This is a uptrending behavior for the green one. That's okay. This is, I like this one. I like. This is a retest. The yellow is retesting the green one. And, it's, and this is a very bullish retest at the same time. More examples. I can't discuss all the examples because because we have a lot of things to, to talk. Uh, but uh, you can ask me for the presentation if you like. Uh, this is my, let me put my email address here. And the last chart uh, you, can, you can take anyway there. My email address. You can send me an email, I can send you the whole presentation. Okay? Um, know these entries, great, wonderful. Know this area, it's very hard to break. 
you remember what I told you about the the area compressed between the 200 moving average and the and the 450? They are uptrending here. Both. Nobody could get into this area until the 200 and moving average became flat. And we have seen us into the 450 becoming flat. Maybe we have a bounce here and we can take the retest with the next signal. This is fantastic, really fantastic. More examples? This is good, very good. It's a little compromised, but well, we are taking the move at the beginning because the 100, the, the green one, sorry, is because we use the green for the 100 moving average. This is my confusion. Uh, we, this is the cross. This is okay. This is bearish, and we have a cross right here. Maybe it's better if we have another long entry here. We are a little extended, so we have to use a larger stop. I don't like too much. If you don't take this one, you have to wait the next retest. We are retesting this area. This buy is perfect. Okay, and it's perfect at the same time. The green is uptrending, yellow above the green, and both above the zero. We have the, the second system for the TSS with exit signals. Let me show you. This system provides buy or sell signals and the corresponding exit. This exit actually it doesn't correspond with this buy or this buy. It's a general exit um, instruction or signal. If you got uh, into this buy, well, you can be sure that until you don't see an exit a signal, you can keep the trade. And you can use at the same time the S momentum indicator because while you are into the uh, overbought area, you can be long all the time. You can be long. Let me tell you another technique to manage the trade. This is very interesting. Note this support. The S momentum indicator is retesting. This is the first retest here. The second one, this is very bullish, okay, because this minimum is above this minimum. And it's defining like a box. So, I mean, this is like a box. While you are inside the box, you can be sure that you can keep the long term. When you break the box, well, maybe, maybe you can think or you can close the long right here, for example. Or this retest, for example. This is a bearish retest. We are trying to cross up. We can't. We go down. This is bearish. It's a bearish, uh, a bearish clue then this price is telling us. You are learning a lot with this uh, signal system and at the same time uh, with all the signals we can provide in order to reinforce the raw, the hard version for our system. I mean, only signals, okay? The S momentum indicator is an, an amazing and extraordinary help. More examples? This exit long, well, you don't know where you're coming from because uh, actually this is a very strong uptrending pattern. So maybe you took a long previously. So this is the exit to close that long. Uh, the idea is to master the MTSS and the TSS system using the S momentum techniques and the 200 and then 450 moving average help. More or less these charts are, well, this is a, a short version of everything we were talking about. Above the neutral level, yellow above the green. So this is a very interesting bullish area to take longs. So after the signal shows up, you use the best momentum to take the entry. And you have to be generous with the stop loss, depending on the instruments, obviously. Uh, for example, for crude oil, I can, I can show you now with the platform uh, how the um, crude oil reacts with this system. It's very precise, the system with crude oil. 
the same chart defining bias. Only long, only short, only short, only long, etc. At the same time, you can use our our tools, our screen tools, using the MetaStub Explorer capacity. This capability is fantastic because um, you can even you can build your own uh, you can your own route, your own setup. We have gap, pro gaps, pullback, bounce, fakes, long-term trends, momentum, potent bar, green bar, and red bar, strength, weakness, and long for investment. Uh, we can provide the same at the same time this this uh, screen setups tool. So how we can use together everything together? Well, uh, you can run, for example, an explorer using MetaStock, apply, uh, applying trading to the setup, select the best individual pattern, and the next day or the same intraday, if you are trading intraday, you can apply the MTSS or the TSS intraday. We have a special offer for you today in this in this uh, event, only for you and only for 24 hours. This system, the regular price for the MTSS or TSS for each one is 450 moving average. Uh, sorry, 450 dollars for each one. Okay, uh, this is for life. But today you can buy both systems for 40, 450 dollars if you already own. Metastock. If you don't own Metastock and you want to own Metastock, and I recommend to own Metastock, obviously, you can buy a package composed by both systems, MTSS and TSS, and the Metastock 14 end of day version, licensed for life, all of them, for only one payment for life, $680. Regular price, $450. For the light, for the systems, for the signals, and Metastock 450. This is valid today. You can send an email uh, today or early tomorrow, and I will be very glad to train you because this offer includes training. All the things we are rushing a lot in order to explain the system and to show how good uh, is the system. The system is. Uh, I can explain you with more time with videos and with coaching, a few coachings, one month, or whatever you need in order to take maximum advantage of the systems, okay? So you can ask for uh, this presentation, sending an email, it gives at tradingtotal-middle-usa.com, or give me a call, or send me a Skype message, or something like that. And thank you very much for attending the, the um, this webinar. I hope it will be very helpful. I think so. I hope so. Okay. Thank you very much. I don't know. I don't know if you have some question or something. Uh, I would be very glad, very glad to to take these questions. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Eduardo. Um, great presentation. You know, one of the things that I really, really like about Eduardo's system is the fact that it is. It's very, very comprehensive. Um, now, when we talk about comprehensive systems, you know, I, I like to tie in the fact that when you have a comprehensive system, you're able to get into a consistent workflow. Um, getting into a workflow with Eduardo system is very, very easy. As you saw, it comes with many, many explorations, and the systems itself are very, very easy to use, uh, as well as uh, uh, to interpret. <clears throat> now, a couple of the th uh, things that I want to touch on for those of you who do have a, a, maybe an older version of Metastock, um, previous to 14, we actually have added a few things in. We've improved the power console. We have advanced search features, tick bars for Metastock real time, and uh, also quite a few new tools with the, the forecaster tool, having the ability to draw your own patterns, etc. So. Great time to, to upgrade to Metastock 14 um, so that you can have access to Eduardo's tools just by contacting them. Um, now, one thing here is, you know, a lot of individuals want to just try out Metastock 
And uh, through Eduardo, we, we actually uh, came up with a special offer where if you just want to try, uh, do a trial of Metastock, we'll actually do a three-month trial of either Metastock real-time or end of day for the price of just one month. So in other words, if you pay for your first month, you get an additional two months uh, at no cost as well as we throw in a, a training ebook. And then from that point, you'd be more than welcome to contact Eduardo and he could walk you through those scans. Um, and you can actually sign up with these trials directly through uh, his pages at uh, www.metastock.com forward slash trading total three for one. Um, or if you wanted the one month trial, that's metastock.com forward slash trading total trial. Once again, I'd like to thank our, our uh, special presenter today, Eduardo Gills, for doing a wonderful job in showing his trading total system. Uh, very unique uh, system, very, very easy to use, user-friendly. Um, I'd like to invite anyone that has questions to go ahead and type them in the chat box. Uh, otherwise, um, thank you very much for attending this webinar, and as always, happy trading. Uh, Hunter, can you put my screen? I, I would like to, to show the, the, oil, the crude oil uh, um, chart applying the system. Sure. Can you do that? Okay, thank you. Look these signals, guys. Look this one. This is $50,000. From the top to the bottom, $50,000 only with one contract. You need $10,000 to trade uh, one, uh, one contract. Look the precision, 80% of accurate. You got some money bouncing, even bouncing. And now the retest, we, we knew that this crude oil was going down on July 15, July 15 uh, after breaking the support. And this is the continuation, the second signal. And we did another new low. Okay, it was just this. Thank you. Thank you, guys.